Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to another Madden 17 Draft Champions game. What you guys are seeing right here is an 86 overall team I just drafted. As you guys probably know, Draft Champions hasn't been updated with new players since mid-October pretty much until today. They added a ton of new players, made a few kinks to the mode, and now you can get some really good drafts. As you guys saw, we got an 86 overall draft, and it was a really high 86 overall draft to where it was really close to being an 87 overall draft, and that's what we're going to try to do right now, get an 87 overall overall draft as you guys see the first round is now the quarterback round in draft champion you get three guaranteed elite quarterbacks so you're gonna have a cute good qb on your team like a donovan McNabb. as we go to round two which is now the legend round and we cannot pass up on the goat jerry rice and there's also new legends no more ricky williams no more ray nitschke how about jeremy shockey and the goat we could not pass up on the man limited edition and all as we go to round three and how about lamar miller to add to that offense our offense is a three-headed monster and we still got 12 more rounds to go another elite round in round four now normally i would take mark Barron or damon harrison two great players but since i'm trying to get the highest overall draft we're actually going to take andrew adams the safety who had a pretty good season for the giants so definitely don't mind taking him as we go to round five and check out all these dope players man this draft is wild 90 david amerson now you're not going to get the motivator boost from david amerson since there's no chemistry in draft champions nonetheless we end up taking justin houston at the outside linebacker position and once again we're trying to get the highest overall draft it's gonna affect the decision making normally i take mike evans right there mike evans is a monster but we're gonna take kevin maui i believe that's how you pronounce his name the offensive lineman 91 overall once again taking an offensive lineman we probably would not justin Pugh, 92 overall and another new york giant on our team and now round eight and this is where it gets interesting right here because when trying to draft the highest overall team in draft champions you can't just take the highest overall player every single time because you have to try to manage your roster and maybe gamble that you know we passed up on lower lower um, lawyer Malloy, sorry, earlier, but maybe we'll get another strong safety later on. As we take Chris Jones, then we take Don Terry Poe, and now round 10 comes up. This is going to be the first round we actually do not take an elite player in. It took all the way until round 10. So these drafts are definitely updated and very beastly. We're going to take the wide receiver since the only that's the only position we really need. As we go to round 11, once again, we're going to pass up on a player that I'd rather have in Luke Keekly in a player in Tavon Young. I feel that's more of a position need for us since we do not have any cornerbacks, and you know maybe we'll get a middle linebacker later on in the draft. As we go to round 12, and we have once again a strong safety. It was really good that we passed up on Lawyer Malloy. Now we can take DJ Swearinger, right? Wrong. We're gonna pass up on another strong safety and take Anquan Bolden at the tight end spot. Really good card right there, that out of position. It's kind of cool that they added that in draft champions. We can get it. So we take him and we're gonna gamble that we can get a strong safety in the next round, which we can in Calvin Fryer. So we're gonna take him, right? No, we're gonna continue passing up on those and take Julius Peppers. I mean, we need that position anyways, and the gamble works out because look at round 14. Sometimes you just gotta get lucky in these draft champions draft if you wanna get the best draft possible. And look at that top right corner. We are now an 87 overall in our draft. Oh, it's easily possible this year, guys. Because check this out. I already have a tight end, and upgrading my tight end spot makes me an 87 overall. So what that leads to believe is that an 88 overall draft is definitely possible. Let me know in the comments. If you guys have been doing any drafts since they up their draft champions today, what's the highest overall draft you got? Because this is the highest overall I've gotten so far. This is the second one I did. You guys saw the first team I did so far today. So you keep on drafting. I believe an 88 overall team is possible, especially if they continue updating draft champions instead of, you know, just not updating it for the rest of the year like they did early on this year. And check out this team we got, man. This team is crazy good. So I haven't been up uploading draft champions games in months. It's that glitchy kicker turn just happens right there. And that was mainly because they haven't been updating it with new players. So, you know, it'd be really stale to continue playing draft champions with the same players all the time. And that's one of the main appeals of draft champions to me is you get to play with the new players without having to buy them in month. And I feel like that's the appeal to a lot of people as he throws the a lob streak that's going to be intercepted by Andrew Adams on third down and very long. It's a punting situation anyways for the most part unless he's randomly went for it, but we don't get the interception anyways as he calls an all-out blitz, which is a very common thing that happens in draft champions and he doesn't get too much out of it as we hit Jerry Rice. Our offense is stacked, man. We got Rice, throwback Brandon Marshall, Anquan Bolden at the tight end spot, which is pretty cheese, man, because he's pretty much a wide receiver. He's going to have some really good route running and the run blocking to continue playing the tight end spot as we unfortunately 
unfortunately throw an interception right there. So that was pretty dumb. Um, I, I was just trying out a play right there. Double moves don't really work too well in this game, especially in draft champions. It's more of an, you know, ranking kind of thing. But I tried it with Jerry Rice, and it definitely didn't work out right there. It's second down and five in coverage and intercepted by Brian Cushing. Now, one of the things I didn't mention in the draft that you guys might have noticed is that not only did they update the pool of players you can draft in draft champions, but they updated the base players. So just like how last year they updated the base silvers and low golds to high golds, to like 78, 79, even 80 overall golds, they did that again this year. Like Brian Cushing was one of the guys that we were just given as a base player. It's his second down and five. This guy's calling a lot of man coverage, and we have a lot of great guys to beat man coverage. Unfortunately, one of them was not Jerry Rice right there, but um, hey, we could just, you know, pump it on the next play, find someone else. We have time. We can roll out with McNabb, who's definitely got the speed, but we're looking upfield, and there's Jerry Rice for the touchdown, and he's also gonna force the rage quit. Now, this is not gonna be the only team we play with this or the only game we play with this 87 overall team. I definitely want to play with them a little bit more. So we're going to enter one more game. And it looks like this guy has definitely gotten one of those new drafts. And a very good one at that. 96 overall Dion and 94 overall Richard Sherman. That's a scary secondary. And look who he's got the tight end spot. Rob Gronkowski. This guy might have gotten the 88 overall draft for all we know. With Gronk in the big cash. Next play though. Throwing it in coverage. That's going to be an incompletion. He's even got this 92 overall Alex Smith. That is not a bad guy to have at the quarterback position. It's a good budget quarterback to have in Mutt this year as he tries to run it with Todd Gurley going nowhere and I feel like in the, as we go off sides unfortunately right there Julius Peppers somehow gets called for it. He throws an incomplete but it's still going to be second down and eight because of the offsides penalty. But yeah, I feel like with this new draft champions thing, there's an elite round almost every single round. You're not really going to have many goal rounds. Now, I've only done it twice but that's the way it feels to me. Once again, let me know in the comment section how your drafts have been going so far. I really want to know the 88 overall draft is possible because if it is, I'm definitely going to you know, do a couple of drafts tonight and see what's the highest you can get as we get a sack right there. That was more of a coverage sack than anything else as he throws it in coverage and it is incomplete. Third down and 18. Definitely got to watch Gronk, which we are doing. He throws it anyways and it's almost intercepted by Adams again. That Adams is playing very well at the free safety position. So, hey, you know, like I said, this is a good mode to try out the budget player. See what you like to have on your team one day and check this. Not top 10 play out. I let the ball go because I thought it would go out of bounds as we get the interception with Cam Chancellor on the next play. We got that the ball go out of bounds right there. We get the ball at the 40, and that was just really stupid. I would advise you guys not to do that or or do anything that I'm doing so far in this game because every decision I made this game is pretty questionable. We throw the interception in coverage right there. That was just, you know, bad play calling by me. I saw the blitz right there. I should have just audible and Kwon Bowen to a slant instead of that weird, you know, vertical route he was running right there but nonetheless the defense is playing very well and they're gonna get a gift right here because he gets called for a delay of game for whatever reason that's an extra five yards now it's third down and forever at the something yard line as he send the blitz but he gets the catch but he doesn't get the first down because he stumbles he had probably had a touchdown right there but he didn't stumble and now it's fourth down and eight he's going for it and he's got time but is there anyone open no there is not except for jimmy smith with the interception breaking the tackle before finally being brought down at the 27 yard line so in essence it was actually really good that we almost gave up a touchdown on that third down as Lamar Miller gonna run it past midfield but yeah it's really good that we you know let up all those yards on third down because that made him want to go for it on fourth down because he definitely wouldn't go for it on like fourth down and forever. He's already shown that he would kick the field goal. But since he almost got the first down conversion on third and super long as we get the first down to Brandon Marshall, it kind of baited him right there. Not my intentions, but it ended up working out as we get blitz right here, taking a little bit too long to throw the football. Now it's second down and forever, but he sends the blitz. We have Anquan Bolden, and Bolden's got a touchdown diving into the end zone. I'm telling you, man, you that Anquan Bolden, if he shows up in draft champions, you definitely want to get him. That, it's a absolute mismatch at the tight end spot. He's a wide receiver at the tight end spot, guys. It's just, you know, the way our offense is rolling right now, we have so many people that can beat man coverage. Even if you have Deion Sanders and Richard Sherman on the same team like this guy has, it's still not worth it. As Man, my dude Adams is putting in work. Put in the big hit right there. Forces the incompletion on third down. Once again, Brian Cushing with the interception. This dude Cushing, man, for a goal guard, making some pretty athletic plays. So if you have a base goal, Brian Cushing, when you start draft champions, you might not need another middle linebacker. This guy can get the job done. And by the way, so can Jerry Rice. He's going against his former teammate, Deion Sanders, and he's shredding him to pieces right now. These dudes that are calling man coverage and, you know, 
all these all out blitzes and draft champions they're probably not that good i guess because it's just not smart i see so many people do it here comes another one and here comes jerry rice torching it once again they'll run the man they won't run any press or anything like that or any clever schemes to disguise their plays or anything like that so it's easy to dissect second down and goal here's man but here's an interception just as i'm trashing all these dudes and they're easy to replay calls here i come throwing an interception now it's just a way too late read by me i'm playing really bad right now thankfully this guy's finding a way to play worse he throws an interception and we have a chance to get some points before halftime i was trying to cash it in for seven right there we might have to settle for three we get to the 30 yard line next play bolden breaks a tackle forget the three his and on Bolden's got another touchdown hey man I'm, I'm not gonna say it again you guys got eyes you guys can see what's going on it's 14 to 3 and it's mainly because of one man who's got the jersey number of 81 is he's throwing to the guy who's got a jersey number 87 a little bit too much especially in coverage as we throw it to you know who on the slant right route right there mismatch torching all these linebackers he sends an all-out blitz again we hit up jerry rice on the c route right there we have our choices of who to go to we're not even throwing it to brandon marshall too much as lamar miller getting some great blocks trying to take it all away gets upended by i believe clay matthews but still a great play as we hit jerry rice on the post route and rice is in for the touchdown and yeah this guy's just he's falling apart as we run the fake and we got our man for the two-point conversion everything's going right now for us we made a very crucial mistake right before halftime where we threw the interception. It was a 7-3 game, and that could have changed everything. Could have changed the momentum and all that, but um, he just didn't manage the game properly before halftime. And now it's probably going to cost him at this point unless he can muster up a touchdown drive. Looking very good out here. Hitting Gronk. Even though he gets the first down right there, I'm okay with that because what I want him to do right now is kill a lot of clock or just throw an interception. Whatever one happens first. If he gets a touchdown, so be it. But as long as he takes up a lot of clock doing it, we're going to make him work for this. And he probably won't even get it with the way he's calling these plays. Third down and seven. You know he wants Gronkowski, but Gronk's running a drag out right there, so he's out of the picture. He throws it to Todd Gurley, but he's not even going for a first down or even for positive yardage. So that was a really dumb play call. And on fourth down and 11, he throws it in coverage. He's trying to throw some verticals as he's been doing all game long. And he throws it in completion as we hit Jerry Rice once again. Rice and Bolden taking over the game. We skip a couple of plays to when Anquan Bolden gets his hat trick of a touchdown. And now we skip to another few plays second down and 10 he loses a bunch of yards in the screen pass and the reason why i skip these plays is because this game is pretty much a blowout and this is actually gonna be the last play of the game he ends up rage quitting after losing seven yards on the screen which yeah i guess i'll take it. i was kind of waiting for this guy to quit since he wasn't really doing too good and then well, his chances of winning were too good i had to take a crap man so i was really hoping this guy would quit asap thankfully he did we end up getting the w we walk in the video if you guys enjoyed it if you guys enjoyed the 87 overall draft let me know that 88 overall draft is possible man because if it's possible we're going after it so yeah, leave a like you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe for more Man 17, and I'll catch you guys next time.